There are several ways in which you can use help in MATLAB. One of them is simply going into the command window and typing help followed by the function or the thing that you want to learn. For instance, I think I want to learn about the function sign. So I'll type S-I-N-E and hit enter and I realize sign is not found. But then if I remember sign in MATLAB is S-I-N, so if I type in help and S-I-N and enter, now I'll get some information about sign. I know a sign is in radians. I know it's parenthesis, and it gives some extra help as well. For example, if I wanted help with the word plot, which we'll be talking later on, and I hit enter, I'm going to get a quite extensive list of information about plotting and all the things which I could print or read or learn or copy as well. The other way of doing help in MATLAB is a traditional way of going to help in the menu bar, clicking it, and going to product help. What will happen now is that the three windows you had in MATLAB are compressed in size and the upper window is your help window. You have content, you have index, you can do search, and you can even go through some demos. If I go back into content and for instance I click on the plus sign next to MATLAB, I'll see things mathematics, graphics. If I click on graphics, I see something that says plot and plotting tools. If I click on that, I will see some additional things. If I click on figures, it'll actually talk about what is a MATLAB graph. And if I scroll down, I can continue on. I'm even given sample formulas. I'm showing the figures. So you can learn anything and understand anything by using the help. In the case of demos, if I click on demos and MATLAB, what I'll get is a series of demonstrations. For instance, again, if I go to graphics and I click on graphics, I'll see a demo of a 2D plot or a 3D plot. If I click on 3D plots, I'll actually see some code and I'll see an example of what MATLAB could look like in 3D plots. That is the use of help.